I'm on a train from Naples, Italy, heading south. I'm on my way to a port town overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. And after we go through the tunnel... Salerno! Oh, the sea is glistening! And the harbor is so large! During the Middle Ages, Salerno was home to Europe's oldest medical school, and nobility came from all over the continent to receive treatment. Today, it's a busy tourist spot for vacationers visiting the Amalfi Coast. And here I am at Salerno Station. Everyone walks so fast. Well then, off I go. Oh, such glorious weather. It's nine in the morning. Is that a cafe? Lots of people there. Let's see, where's my map? With the Salerno Cathedral at its center, Old Town stretches along the coast. Right now, I'm near the sea east of Old Town. First, I think I'll stroll along the coast. Just look at the sea sparkling so beautifully in the morning sun. Makes me feel so good. Ah, a pup. Good morning. And the pier has a walking area for pedestrians. Good morning! The people of Salerno are so healthy and energetic. Oh, the mountains are so beautiful. Just look at all these boats. Hey, why are all those seagulls gathered in that one spot? Whoa, what's underneath all the seagulls? Ah, a fishing boat. It must have just returned to the harbor. The seagulls are getting breakfast. So, did you bring back something delicious? What do you recommend? Which one's that? Oh? Really? Wow! Si stringe, si fa prima tutta a parte, poi dopo si stringe e poi si aggiunge il pomodoro. Makes my mouth water. Si, viene come una zuppetta, bravo. Il pesce va bene perché ha delle vitamine che sono antiossidanti. Antioxidants? Ah, yes, eating fish is healthy. È tutta salute. It is. You seem very healthy. Tanto è vero che sono donatore di sangue. Wow. Prima facevo due donazioni all'anno. That's really impressive. Andavo con il bersaglio, lo sai il bersaglio? Va. E che fai? Your father? È quella lì che si mette su un braccio, si lancia e si apre. Hai capito? Have you worked here a long time? 
Otto Dre. Otto Dre. You're in great shape. Thanks for talking with me. And good luck. Wow, he's still working. He used to donate blood twice a year. Salerno fishermen are a strong bunch. Think I'll head back into town. These tall buildings are in the new part of town. Old town should be just a little bit further ahead. What a huge tree. Wait, is it a tree? Or is it ivy? My goodness, those stone arches look really old. According to my guidebook, they're part of an aqueduct that was built in the 9th century. Oh look, cars can drive through the arches. At a height of more than 20 meters, the aqueduct was considered innovative at the time. The Bridges of the Devil is said to have been built in one night by a 12th century alchemist with the help of demons. Fascinating. That looks like an apartment complex. It must be interesting to live in a residential area with these aqueducts. I think I'll ask someone about it. Good morning. Buongiorno. These aqueducts are amazing, aren't they? Certo. Cioè, la fonte dell'acqua credo che dovesse essere dalla dietro. E poi questo acquedotto trasportava l'acqua e riforniva d'acqua il convento. I see. Ovviamente sono passati vari secoli. È un punto di riferimento, è un punto identitario di Salerno. The city's identity. It is amazing to see medieval and modern structures standing side by side. È un contrasto tutto sommato. È un contrasto. La macchina, l'automobile e l'acquedotto del 1200. Però alla fine questo contrasto è positivo perché allarga i nostri orizzonti di prospettiva. Fascinating. Ok. Buona giornata, arrivederci. Thank you. The identity of Salerno. Hmm. Seeing this every day might well change a person's outlook. people here. That looks like a plaza over there. Is that a large tree in the middle? It looks like red and yellow flowers are hanging from the branches. That net above the plaza is interesting. Is it there to keep pigeons out? I'll ask that woman over there. Hello? I would like to ask about the net up there. Se lo vedete acceso la sera, questo, questa rete che vedete su si accende di blu. Quindi fa il cielo, diciamo, illuminato con l'albero. Amazing! Tutta questa rete è tutta blu forte. Ah, decorative illumination? It must look beautiful! Tutta la città poi comunque è addompata, tutte le strade, almeno tutte le principali, poi non lo so. Interesting! Has this been going on for a long time? Ma un po' hanno ridotto... Già col Covid, perché all'inizio della pandemia non le hanno fatte proprio. L'anno scorso hanno, le hanno rifatte, ma quest'anno dice che dura, dura meno, ma il caro bolletta oh. c'è. Mica solo per noi, anche per loro. 
Eh, perché sempre noi le paghiamo alla fine, quindi <ride> devi tornare. E poi vedi che ci tornerai ancora. I might just do that. Ma di niente a voi. Ciao. Goodbye. Ah, landscape lighting. The city is struggling with expensive electric bills, but I bet it looks beautiful. Ah, there's an interesting looking alley through the arch. I think I'll check it out. The flagstones look really great. It's like going back in time to the Middle Ages. Ah, there are more flowers like the ones in the plaza. And the lighting, too. Cars aren't allowed to drive through this area in order to preserve the townscape. So it's great for walking. What? Are you the proprietor? Hello there. Quindi abbiamo fatto questo format con il Prosecco perché io sono di Treviso. Quindi abbiamo fatto Prosecco e Alici. You seem to be enjoying yourselves. Inizia alle 8 col Prosecco. Perché quando il Prosecco è buono non fa male. Quando è un prodotto di qualità è sempre fa bene. Anzi, si dice un bicchiere di vino al giorno toglie il medico di torno. Is that so? So, all of you agree that wine is good for you? Molto bene. Fa bene perché ti rende allegro. Ti Ed rende è contro bene. la verità, eh. che non piace a nessuno. <ride> esatto. Specialmente quando è buono. Quando è buono fa sempre bene. Well, enjoy yourselves. Grazie. Ciao. Buona giornata. Goodbye. It looks like they had a bit more than one glass. They seem to be having fun. I'm envious. Hello, I'm Alessandro Vesci, a historian. I'd like to introduce you to an important book published in Salerno. Salerno has flourished since the time of ancient Greece. In the 9th century, it was the center city of the Lombards, a Germanic people. In the 11th century, the city reached its peak of prosperity as a commercial center when it was under Norman rule. With its large harbor, Salerno became a focal point for Arab and Jewish science that spurred the development of medicine. Situated on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea and surrounded by natural beauty, there were also hot springs nearby. Aristocrats came from abroad, attracted by the prospect of healing. This is the historical context for the founding of Europe's oldest medical school around the 10th century. Doctors gathered from all over the world to polish their skills and contribute to the development of the medical profession. Though it's called a school, it didn't have a single location. Classes were held in churches and monasteries, including the symbol of the city, Salerno Cathedral. Please come and take a look. The inside of this cathedral is truly magnificent. Due to the medical school, Salerno became a richer, prosperous city. And now I will introduce the Salernitan Rule of Health, a medieval didactic poem in hexameter verse, a product of Salerno's medical school. A book on preventative medicine that guides healthy lifestyle habits and dietary habits. At the time, it was groundbreaking. There are some things written that are still relevant today. For example, when you get up in the morning, be sure to comb your hair and brush your teeth. Do not live close to foul odors and stagnant water. Do not eat a large meal before going to sleep. 
Wine, lovers, and baths are good for your health, but practice moderation. Over the course of a thousand years, Salentan rule of health was translated into many languages and became a worldwide bestseller. I myself follow the book's advice to take it easy and don't agonize. And because I also follow the rule of eating healthy, I'm full of energy. So if you're in need of a pick-me-up, please come to Salerno. Bye! <laughs> Two steps at a time. It's 11 o'clock. Let's see, where have I been? I met the fisherman, walked along the aqueduct, and visited the plaza where I heard about the decorative lighting. Then I walked through that narrow alleyway, and now I'm here. Here's another narrow alleyway. Up there on the left, it opens into a courtyard rather than a street. I'd like to check it out. Ah, look. Benches? <laughs> nice. Huh? What's this? Books. Carefully wrapped in plastic. What happens if I follow the arrow? Ah, it looks like someone's back there. Is it a shop? <laughs> ah, it must be a bookstore. Hello. Buongiorno. Is this a bookstore? Sì, sì, una libreria. Mind if I look inside? Oh, ma collate, vi prego, prego. I libri vi aspettano, diciamo. Thanks. In attesa. The books await me. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There are so many books spread all over. How can anyone find what they're looking for? Oops. Excuse me. Uh, you sure have a lot of books here. Sì, 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 sì. Diciamo che è proprio una libreria. <laughs> Sono migliaia. So. How many books do you have? Ma di preciso non lo so, ma saranno 10.000, 10.000. So many! Solo che lo spazio non è molto... I can see that. Ampio. E allora è, sono, un po', sono un po' ammassati, diciamo. Sono un po'... It's like a treasure hunt. Sì, 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 è un piacere proprio la ricerca, la scoperta del libro, queste cose qua. Insomma, sono ambienti particolari. Say, do you have Salernitan rule of health? Sì, sì, ne tengo parecchi, perché qua proprio a Salerno chiaramente sono un po' specializzato. There it is! Ecco qua. Questo è stato. Wow. È pieno. A true native. Ecco. Uno. Poi due. There sure are a lot of different editions. Does it still have influence over life in Salerno today? Io ho notato che nel ciuto storico soprattutto, insomma, ci sono persone di 80-90 anni. Oh? Che trovi persone e eh, evidentemente funziona in questa vecchia generazione insomma c'è un riflesso di, di antica sapienza insomma rispetto alla scuola perché trovo ma proprio attivi proprio gente che stanno bene that's wonderful gli dici parli di uno di 80 anni è giovane insomma va <ride> bene Poverina, è morto giovane, insomma, 80 anni. 
Well, may you follow the ancient rules and stay healthy. No, no, seguirò la dieta, la dieta mediterranea. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, state con. Thank you. So the Middle Ages live on in Salerno not just in its buildings, but in health habits too. I wonder if I'll meet any of those energetic old folks. Ah, it's starting to rain. I should have stayed a bit longer at the bookstore. What's in this store? Hello. Is it all right if I come in? Thank you. Oh, this is a hat shop. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. How are you? Buongiorno. Siamo spazzolando il cappello. A hat maker. La polvere. Sembra un po' di polvere, ci sta sempre. Allora si deve spazzolarlo a vapore per togliere. Vedi? I see. E qua. You seem to take pride in your work. Sì. Adesso sono buono. So pulito, so fresco e tutto. Chiudiamo. And you work with a hat on. You must love hats. Sì, è sempre stato così. Da quando sono nato che lo vedo sempre così. Oh, you're his son? È raro che lo trovo... And is he always dressed in a suit? Sempre. Sì, sempre col completo. Di solito il cappello, sempre... If you don't mind my asking, how old are you? Eh, è che è difficile. Quando anni mi date? Well, I'll guess 60. Quando? 65? Fuocherello. Ancora. Okay, 66? 76 oggi, oggi. Alla fine del mese faccio 77. Wow, you look so young. Grazie. What's your secret? Faccio il lavoro che tenga la passione di farlo. È l'impegno di farlo. I see. Thank you so much for your time. Disposizione, signorina. Quando volete siamo sempre qua. Thank you. Adeci, adeci. Bye. Well, it didn't take me long to meet a spry and energetic senior. Oops, I guess people in their 70s don't qualify as seniors in Salerno. Hey, that arch there looks like a tunnel. Oh, is it a maze? I think I'll check it out. There's a red and white flag hanging from the balcony. I wonder what it stands for. I know it's not the Italian flag. I think I'll ask. Hello? Buongiorno. What flag is that? This is the bandiera della nostra squadra del cuore, la bandiera della Salernitana. Salernitana? La squadra di calcio che ora sta in Serie A e della squadra della nostra città. Oh, soccer! Is that your home team? Perché oggi gioca in casa, quindi si va a vedere la partita. Oh, there's a match today? That sounds like a lot of fun. Grazie, Crepi. Buona giornata. Thank you. The flag of their soccer team. My guidebook says that Salernitana is an old franchise founded in 1919. In 2021, they were promoted to the Serie A title for the first time in 23 years. Good for them. Look at all these small arches. Every time I turn a corner, another charming alleyway appears. 
It really is like a maze. Ah, and now for a change of pace. A side trip. I'm on the hunt for a special condiment that's been handed down since the Middle Ages. Hello. Hmm, plenty of seats. I'm heading for Cetara, a harbor town about 30 minutes from Salerno, by bus along the Amalfi coast. Cetara is the home of a prized condiment called collatura, which is hard to get nowadays, even in Italy. I wonder what it tastes like. I've reached Cetara. All right, where should I go to find this elusive condiment known as collatura? Hey! That sign has the word Colatura written on it. Looks like I found my prize already. Hmm. There's a distinctive aroma coming from inside. Wait, I know that smell. It's like Japanese kusaya, brined fish. Um, excuse me. How are you? Buongiorno. I'm looking for the place where Colatura is made. Ah, siete venuto nel laboratorio giusto. Great. Adesso vi faccio vedere il laboratorio. Thank you. Venite. Wow, look at all the barrels. Siedo. Please do. Sì, i miei, i miei terzini. Si chiamano terzini. Allora, abbiamo tolto le alici la testa e le abbiamo messe sotto sale. Ah, anchovies. That's the source of that special aroma. Questo prodotto va. Allora, Ooh. ti faccio dare perché già dal 1200-1300 si faceva colatura a Cetara. A specialty of Cetara. He works so carefully, using lots of salt. Si mette qua nel cavo. What? E rimane three. tre anni. Three years? Sì, adesso ti faccio vedere. Yes, I'm sure, but three years. Ah, and a weight on top, just like Japanese pickles. And what happens after three years? Lo spilliamo. Adesso andiamo a spillare. Ah! From the bottom of a barrel, filled three years ago. Ecco qua. E questo è, è la coladura. I see. It's a fermented fish sauce. Colore, vedi il colore è ambrato. Mm. I'd love to taste it. It's three in the afternoon, and I'm here in Salerno's old town. Is that a fountain? It looks like it has a history. And by the side of the fountain, another alleyway. I'm going to check it out. Hmm, let's see. In the center of Old Town, I met the bookseller and the hat maker. And now I'm here, at the western edge of Old Town. There sure is a lot of graffiti here. More graffiti there on the right. Wait, maybe it's not graffiti after all. That wall too. The walls are covered with paintings and writing. Ah, look, straight ahead there's an angel flying down to earth. What? Benzasi goatfish? Is there someone in there? 
Yep, there is. Hello, what are you making? For fishing? Oh, didn't mean to sound rude. Are you making it by hand? Amazing. How big will it be? That's huge. Do you fish yourself? I see. Have you been doing this for a long time? <laughs> That's still young. Wow. Since you were a little kid, huh? Yes, I did. I think so, too. There are a lot of murals in this neighborhood, aren't there? Yes. I'll check them out. Okay. Thank you. Take care. The angel seems to be jumping out of the window. I wonder what murals I'll be able to see down this way. According to my guidebook, volunteer artists started coming here about 10 years ago with wall paint to revitalize the neighborhood. Ah, there's a cat! Beautiful. It says that more than 100 paintings and poems have been completed. Since there are so many different styles, I guess that these murals were created by a number of different artists. Where's that voice coming from? That window. <laughs> Hello. Is that your daughter? <laughs> your walls are beautiful. Eh, questi sono le le poesie sono i muri di autori. Huh? Who's that? Sono, sono muri di autori. Ognuno scrive una poesia di un autore preferito. La mia preferita è quella là. Oh? Aspetta, mo scendo. Ti spiego meglio, mo scendo. Thank you. Sorry to trouble you. Questa è proprio una poesia, vedi, questo è il napoletano. Che molti turisti come te che vengono a visitare ci mettono un po' a capirla, però poi alla fine ha un bel significato. Vedi? What kind of artists painted these murals? Uh, Brasile, uh, Turchi, uh, un, un filippino, un milanese. Poi insieme agli artisti lo abbiamo vissuto, praticamente venivano a mangiare a casa mia, a casa di, della mia amica. Wow, that sounds like everyone had a really good time. Bellissima. Bella perché uh, questo prima era un quartiere degradato, nessuno voleva venire. Invece adesso vengono i turisti, quando vengono le navi di crociera, vengono a vedere qua. Uh, 
inizia, passano di qua per poi andare ai giardini della Minerva che è un'altra cosa bella da vedere e no no bellissima lei è Ciaccarella Ciaccarella? Oh. oh hello do you live around here also? Lei è un'altra ragazza che siamo sul murales. That's fabulous. You're part of the Là. art. Vuoi venire a vedere? Sì. Vieni. Amazing. This is so fascinating. Eccolo qua, qui. Lei è la prima qua. How fabulous. Io sono la terza. Mi hanno fatto sette quintali a me. Wow, bigger than life. Thank you so much. I'd like to ask about the garden you were talking about. Sì, sì, se giardini pensi lì su a molti livelli, una cosa bellissima. Si prende l'ascensore, vedi? Questo c'è l'ascensore comunale. Se vuoi ti accompagniamo. Vieni, ti accompagno, ti faccio vedere. Sì, sì, vieni. Thank you. C'è l'ascensore, vieni. L'hanno fatto anche la medicina con quelle erbe. Oh, do you mean for the medieval medical school? Sì. A medieval herb garden. Here? This looks like an underground parking structure. There's an elevator here? Sì, vedi qua. Vedi? Qua, prendi l'ascensore e sali sopra. Su ai giardini della Minerva. Great, I will. Thanks to all of you. Ciao. 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 Thank you. Ciao. My name is Erica, and I'm a nutritionist. The medieval health guide Salonitum Rule of Health contains wise advice that's still useful today, and I'm going to introduce you to three of Salerno's top gourmet dishes. Here's our first restaurant. Let's go inside. In third place is this saffron risotto. And here it has porcini mushrooms. According to the rule of health, saffron nurtures the heart, nourishes the physical body, and strengthens bodies that are weak. Saffron is harvested from the red pistils of the crocus sativus. There are only three in each flower, making it one of the most expensive spices in the world. In saffron risotto, saffron is used to give the rice a distinctive aroma and color. Recently, research institutes around the world have reported that components found in saffron may be effective in treating depression. I must say I feel so much happier now. Here's our next stop. It's so cute. Wow. In second place we have chat eye roll simmered in pepper. And this dish features moderately priced beef simmered in wine. But the secret to its delicious flavor is the addition of both powdered and coarsely ground pepper. And I mean plenty of pepper. The rule of health says that coarsely ground pepper is good for digestion. It also says that white pepper prevents chills if you develop a cough. Mmm, that smells spicy. Pepper's aroma and spiciness stimulate the digestive tract, energize peristaltic movement, and promote blood circulation. And now for our number one dish. I'm here at a workplace in the suburbs. Wow! In 
Introducing Salerno's number one treat, figliata di mozzarella. A giant ball of mozzarella cheese. Dating back to the 18th century, mozzarella cheese, which is made with milk from a water buffalo, is a famous Salerno product. Figliata di mozzarella is a large ball of mozzarella that has smaller mozzarella balls and cream inside. Rich and creamy. The rule of health tells us that cheese revitalizes a tired stomach and is best eaten for dessert. Ooh, it melts in the mouth. Natural cheese helps digestion. Some people eat it at the end of their meal. The rule of health says that wine is good for your health. But don't drink too much. Oops, it seems that I've drunk too much. Mm. This elevator seems to be taking a long time. Finally, and it opens to the outdoors. It's four in the afternoon. Wow, I'm really high up. What a beautiful view. I can see the whole town. Where am I? I walked through the neighborhood with all the murals and took the public elevator up the hill now I'm here. Minerva Gardens, where they grow medicinal herbs, must be up ahead. Hello. The elevator doesn't just lead to the garden. It also connects two parts of the town. Hmm, so where is Minerva Gardens? Is it that place up there with all the plants? I was right! <laughs> it's fabulous! And there are so many different kinds of plants! Everything is labeled. The shrubbery is beautifully manicured, and all the plants are so well taken care of. Ah, that guy is pruning the trees. Hello? You seem to be working hard. I heard that you grow herbs here. This is the scheme è stato riproposto lo schema che utilizzava la scuola medica salernitana per classificare le piante e il loro effetto sulle persone. I see. Lalo è, Lalo è presente, fa parte del settore caldo secco di terzo grado. Grade 3? I gradi sono l'intensità della pianta. Più si va verso il centro e più è forte l'intensità della pianta dell'uso. What is aloe used for? Allora, l'alo è essenzialmente un lenitivo del dolore esterno. Eh, si usa per le bruciature, per le infezioni della pelle. They knew that in the Middle Ages, huh? Qui abbiamo il giuschiamo. 
che servivano ad addormentare il paziente durante le operazioni. Wow, they had anesthetic back then too. Che cosa fa parte? Questo è per esempio è freddo umido di primo grado. Grade 1, so it's very potent, right? Sapendo, conoscendo l'effetto della pianta sulla persona quando veniva utilizzata. How many medicinal herbs are there? Allora, in questo orto botanico ci sono circa 400 specie di piante che venivano utilizzate eh, dalla scuola medica salernitana per curare le persone. Really? That many? That's amazing, isn't it? Do you use medicinal herbs? Vivendo in un ambiente eh, naturale eh, ci si ammala di meno. Eh, quindi non è semplicemente un fatto legato all'utilizzo delle piante. Anche vivere in simbiosi con le piante aiuta molto. It does seem like a healthy environment here. Speaking of, all the people I've met here have been healthy and vigorous. Meno male, questo mi fa piacere. Thanks for your time. Ok, buona passeggiata. Ciao. Thank you. Goodbye. Look, there's the sea. Ah, I met a lot of healthy people down there today. It's six in the evening, and now I'm back at the place where I began my walk this morning. Ah, oh, it looks so beautiful. So this is the decorative lighting that the woman I met this morning was talking about. Good evening. Are you from Salerno? Lavoriamo a Salerno. Anzi, per meglio dire, lavoravamo tutti a Salerno e oggi ci incontriamo proprio perché il nostro perché... ventesimo anniversario sì. da quando siamo entrati in amministrazione. That's nice. Congratulations. I heard about Salerno's decorative lighting. It's beautiful. Eh beh, sì, eh che ti porta gioia, no? Vedere... vedere è aria di festa, c'è aria di festa. Sicuramente è positivo apportare un po' di, 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 di luci, di, di, no? di, di bellezza, di, ti, ti dà la possibilità di stare un po', un po all'aria aperta con, con gli amici. It does look grand. Ciao, buona serata. When a city looks this beautiful, it is so invigorating. I think I'll check out the plaza where the sky shines blue. Down this way, I think. like all the stars in the sky have come down to illuminate the plaza. So beautiful. Oh, spending the day in Salerno has been truly invigorating. I am feeling so full of energy.